Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can send HubSpot CRM notifications into Slack. So in this example, we're gonna be sending a notification when a lead form is submitted, and that will go into a Slack channel. You can use this for other use cases, like monitoring customer activity, or any other real-time updates you wanna send into Slack based off of activity within HubSpot. So the steps to do this is we're first gonna integrate HubSpot with Slack, and then we're gonna set up a workflow to send that notification to Slack. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So to integrate HubSpot with Slack, it's really easy to do. You're going to go to the Marketplace icon, so we'll click that, and then we'll go into the App Marketplace, and then we'll search for Slack, and then you'll click on it. I already have it installed, but you'll see an orange button to install the app. You'll click that, then you'll sign into Slack, and you'll enable the integration. It only takes a minute. So after you've done that, we're gonna set up our workflow. So we'll go into the automation section and click workflows. And then we're gonna to go to the top right corner and click create workflow, and we can do it from scratch. So you can create notifications based off of different things. We're gonna select the contact based, and we'll have a blank workflow, and then we'll select next. So we first need to set up our trigger. So this is gonna be for every time a form is submitted that will trigger an event and that will send the notification to Slack. So we'll click set up triggers. And then on the left-hand side, you can do it when an event occurs uh, using the filter criteria based on the schedule, a webhook. We're gonna select when a filter criteria is met. So I'll select that. And then from our contact objective, we're gonna search for form. So there's a lot of different uh, categories that you can select from uh, for your notifications. Again, in this case, we're gonna be doing it for a form. So I'll select that and I'll look for form submissions. I'll click that. And we want this to trigger any time a form is submitted. So I'm gonna select any form submission. And then on the left-hand side, so when this will trigger when the form is submitted, and then I'll click save. So that's our trigger. Now we want the action to happen. So this is going to be sending that notification to Slack. So under the communications, you can click that dropdown and select send Slack notification. So we'll select that, but I am gonna select a channel here. So I'm gonna have this go into the new leads channel so the team can have visibility on that. You can also send notifications to existing owners if you like um, for the message we can add in different properties uh, that will show within our Slack message. So uh, for example, we can type in first name here and select that, then click enter. And I want to also pull in the last name. So I'll also look for that. And our lead forms, we're mainly running LinkedIn ads and we are passing over the LinkedIn profile. So I want that to also show. So I'm gonna select LinkedIn profile URL have that show. So every time uh, a form is submitted, it's going to send this data um, to Slack so the team has visibility into it. You can also add in additional properties here, but we'll leave that blank. So we just have it going to the channel and then we have the, the message that we want to show. You can also type in here as well, but we'll leave it like that. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then the next step is to review and publish. So I'll click that in the top right corner. So if you want to enroll existing contacts, you can. I'm gonna select no, only enroll contacts who meet the enrollment criteria after the workflow is turned on. So I'll select that. And then I'm gonna leave everything else as is here and click next. You can adjust things around timing and notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and keep those as is and click next. So it gives it a little AI description here. Um, we'll go ahead and just clean that up a little bit. So it sends a Slack message with contact details to uh, the new leads channel. That's our Slack channel when a form is submitted. So I'll save that. Oh, I can also um, edit the workflow name. So we'll call this new lead Slack notification. So we'll name that, click save, and then we'll click turn on workflow. So the workflow is on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and test a lead form submission so you can see what it looks like within Slack. So I just submitted a test lead. So again, in our Slack notification, we should see our first name and last name and the LinkedIn profile URL because the forms that we're using collect that data. So I'll go into the Slack channel here to the new leads channel 
and you can see uh, my first and last name here, my LinkedIn profile. So it is working as um, intended. So if you have any questions on that, please let me know in the comment section and I'd be happy to help you out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.